Welcome to my August 24 KDP income report where I like to show you the practical side of this business and what I'm doing to grow it. This only covers 10 books, not my full portfolio, but it shows you what's possible with only a few books. Now August was a great month, but let's get into this income report. So in the month of August, I made $6,065.28 with just 10 books which I am really pleased with as I keep trying to prove that you don't need thousands of books out there on Amazon to do well. And it was fairly a consistent month. I did have a few outliers. For example, the 1st of August actually made $534.42. And strangely, my lowest day was 10% of that, where I made $51.67. But that is just part of the business. You're going to have some very high days and strangely some very unexpected low days, but you have to be prepared for that. Having the right mindset in this business is going to be the thing that's going to separate you from other self-publishers. And in terms of the orders I had for this month, it was 1,572 which roughly works out to $3.85 royalty per book. And I'm always making sure I am creating the highest quality book that are in low and medium content niches that I can charge a higher royalty for. And this allows me to sell much less books, but actually make much more royalties. And this is something that I have been implementing with my best selling books, increasing the royalties as I know these books have reviews and they are quality and people will want to buy them. And this is one of the main strategies that has really pushed my business forward. As if I look back just a year ago, I made $3,871.67, but my total orders was actually more, where I sold 1,805 books. And even going back to 2022, I made $723.76, but my total orders was 427. So keep on developing your strategies and challenging yourself to create even better books. I have been slacking in terms of my book creation for Q4. I haven't created a book in a while, which is similar to some of you guys because I asked the question in my YouTube community. But this has given me the idea to create a Q4 video soon, so be on the lookout for that. Now, one of the questions I always get asked is how do you find niches? And the best tool that I found that saves so much time, I'm always going to recommend is a book beam, especially if you use the niche finder. You can look across different marketplaces. So not just the US, but look at the UK, Germany, Italy, France, and Spain. Then you've also got different presets that will allow you to see top selling self-published books, new high selling self-published books. This is the one I look at the most. Top selling self-published books with a low star rating, top selling self-published book with a low star count, top selling self-published journals, notebooks, planners, word church books, and even coloring books. So they really make it easy for you to find in-demand niches. On top of that, you have the category history tool that will actually let you look back on any specific date range over a particular period, which is great for Q4. As you can see, which books did really well last Q4. You can even use the top 1000 self-published books to have a look over any period. So that's why it is my go-to tool for research. You need to be using tools that save you time. And these are just only two benefits of this tool. There is so much more that it can do. But next, so this isn't all profit. And the main expense in this business is ads. And I run ads in both the US and UK market. But let's take a look at the US market first. So here I spent $308.55 with a higher a cost of 39.45 percent i had 782 dollars and 20 cents in sales and 72 orders i'm not too concerned about the a cost right now because i'm just trying to get more books ranked for q4 and i will be ramping that up and in the uk market i spent 956 pounds and 43 cents with a slightly lower a cost of 32.03 percent which gave me nearly three thousand dollars in sales and 348 orders 
So similar to the US market, I am really trying to ramp up my ads here for Q4 and just getting my best books, making sure that they're in the best position for December. Now let's take a look at the final breakdown for the month of August. So let's start off with the growth profit, which we know was $6,065.28. Then my expenses, which includes ads, which come to $1,561.92. Then we have my subscriptions such as Canva, Midjourney, Bookbeam, Creative Fabrica, Ideogram, which come to $80 and that leaves us with a final amount of $4,423.36. So I'm really happy with that amount, especially leading up to Q4. Let me know how August went for you and what you're planning for Q4.